Oh, Angelo. Sweets for my sweet, flowers for my flower, and the cigarettes for after. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. My date's brother just came into town, and unless I can find a date for him so we can double, why, well, the whole evening's gonna be called off. So what do you say? Would you please, please be a friend and go out with him? Sure, I'm game. <laughs> Will you take it inside, Rose? This isn't the French Quarter. Oh, my, 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 my. Why do I feel the need to bathe? <laughs> So how was it, Blanche? Oh, you might as well ask me to describe the glory of the Great Smoky Mountains as they rise from the mist of a Carolina dawn. They went to a sleazy motel. <laughs> or the colors of the monarch butterfly spreading its wings as it emerges from the miracle of the cocoon. She got him to pay for half the room. <laughs> or the sturdy cypress reaching heavenward, tall and mighty and proud. That one, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> You're under arrest. Your days as the freeway flasher are over. I know what you're thinking, Rose, but you're wrong. And if I can make bail, I'd love to see you tomorrow night. I don't think so. May I call you? I, I get one phone call. You look gorgeous. Oh, well, really? Yeah. Goodness, I didn't even have time to put on my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind waiting out in the van, Dirk? I'll be with you in just a minute. Sure. <laughs> I do believe the man said gorgeous. I'm gonna live forever. Not outside of an institution. <laughs> we don't want to keep our dates waiting. Wait, Blanche, honey, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, no, I never wear underwear. <laughs> Dorothy, do you have a date tonight? <laughs> Rose, I mean, that's an awfully personal question. Do Yes! <laughs> oh, good God. Dorothy Zbornak has a date on a Saturday night and Blanche Deborah does not? That sounds like an idea for a Stephen King book. <laughs> As the Reverend was performing the funeral service, I knew for sure that he wanted me. Oh. <laughs> I'd always known that there'd been something between us. Sometimes from the pulpit, he'd be talking about sin. He'd look straight at me. <laughs> we couldn't do anything about it because he was married, but after his wife died, there was no stopping him. <laughs> so? Well we could finally consummate our long and burning passion. And? <laughs> it took about 10 minutes. He wore his watch and his socks. I never saw him again. Another date with your mystery man? Oh, he's no mystery man. No, then how come you've been out with him four times? We don't know anything about him. Well, there is one little thing. <laughs> well, that must be him. Rose, would you get the door, please? Hello. Oh, hello. We thought you were Blanche's date, but you're way too old. <laughs> Listen, check with me later about the weekend. I, I just want to be sure I'm ready and that it's right. I'll give you a ring. I can't accept jewelry. <laughs> I mean, I'll call you soon. I mean, I'll call you Rose soon. <laughs> and the phone will ring. This is my... First date. You mean... <laughs> your first date ever? That's right. I've never been with a woman. Well, not in the biblical sense. You're a virgin? A virgin. Oh, God. Brings out the artist in me. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dorothy, you're home. Well, doesn't anyone want to hear how my date turned out? Oh, honey, was it just terrible? Oh, sweetheart, you can tell us. It was wonderful. Really? Where is Dr. Marvelous? What kind of man doesn't walk a girl to the door? One who's too exhausted to walk. <laughs> Dorothy's born like I am shocked, and I want details. I tell you, the night was just magical. We laughed, we danced, we drank, we cried, we did it all, even... I can't tell you, I'm too shy. 